Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a sloth. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the left, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. The two circles should be about the same size. Place this circle slightly higher. To the right, draw another circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. This circle should be about half the size of the first circle. The edges of the head circle and the first circle should touch. Inside the head circle, draw a curved horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Now draw a curved vertical line for another construction guide. Pay attention to how these lines curve inside the head. Near the center of the head, draw a small circle as a guide for the muzzle. Place this circle below the horizontal construction guide. Draw a long angled line on top of the first circle as a guide for the front leg. Bend the bottom part of the line to indicate a joint. To the right, draw another long line as a guide for the other front leg. On top of the circle on the left, draw two more long lines as guides for the hind legs. The tops of these lines should be roughly at the same level. Connect the head to the body using sloping lines to create the guide for the neck. Make the bottom line longer than the top line. Connect the body circles using curved lines to create the guide for the torso. Make the line at the bottom longer and curvier. At the top, draw two lines to give the sloth a branch to hang from. You can curve the branch to conform to the length of the legs. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Place the eyes close to the muzzle and on top of the horizontal construction guide. The eye on the right should be closer to the vertical construction guide. When you get the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. As you darken the shapes, make the sides point here for the corners of the eyes. Inside each eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for highlights. Near the middle of the eyes, draw smaller circles and shade them in for the pupils. Now shade in the rest of the eyes. Use a value that's slightly lighter than the pupils to shade the eyes. Draw a few curved lines around the eyes for eyelids and wrinkles. Inside the muzzle, near the top, lightly sketch a small oval for the nose. Pay attention to the size of the nose in relation to the muzzle. When you get the size and position of the nose right, darken the shape. Draw a couple of short curved lines inside the nose for the nostrils. Shade in the nostrils. The nostrils should be close to the middle of the nose. Add a small line at the bottom of the nose. 
Under the nose, draw a curved line for the mouth. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Use short strokes as you darken the line for a furry texture. The sides of the mouth should touch the edge of the small circle. Draw a couple of short curved lines along the path of the initial circle to emphasize the shape of the muzzle. Use the initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Darken the outer edges of the initial circle to create the shape of the head. Don't darken the bottom left side of the circle. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eyes for the pattern on the head. Follow the path of the horizontal construction guide as you draw the pattern. The pattern should be similar to an eye mask. Add a curved line at the top to finish the pattern on the head. Use a series of short strokes as you draw these shapes for a furry texture. Use the second line from the right as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the bottom part wide and then gradually make the shape thinner toward the top. Make the top of the leg curved. Bend the shape at the bottom to indicate the joint. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for a furry texture. At the top, draw three thin pointy shapes for the claws. Curve the claws around the edge of the branch. This is a three-toed sloth, so draw three pointy shapes. Use the long line on the right as a guide to draw the other front leg. Lightly sketch the leg around the guide but don't overlap the shape of the branch. Draw a curved shape at the top for the claws. Make the bottom part wide and the top part narrow. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. At the top, draw three thin pointy shapes for the claws. The tip of the leg should wrap around the shape of the branch. Now use the second line from the left as a guide to draw the hind leg. Just like with the front legs, first lightly sketch the shape of the hind leg around the guideline. Make the bottom part wide and then gradually make the shape thinner toward the top. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for a furry texture. At the top, draw three thin pointy shapes for the claws. Curve the claws along the top edge of the branch. Use the line on the left as a guide to draw the other hind leg. Sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Lightly sketch a curved shape at the top for the claws. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for a furry texture. At the top, draw three thin pointy shapes for the claws. Curve the claws along the edge of the branch. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Don't overlap the legs that are on this side as you draw the body. On the left side, draw a small curved shape for the tail. Now darken the shape of the branch at the top. Don't overlap the legs and claws as you darken the branch. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. 
don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines. It's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a dark value to shade the pattern on the head. Shade the rest of the body using a medium value. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. Separate the strokes as you shade so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Shade the nose and the muzzle using a dark value and shade the rest of the face using a light value. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Use a darker value throughout the body to create shadows. Shade the branch using a light value and use a darker value at the bottom for a shadow. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the sloth. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.